Hi everyone, it's Karen from Crafty Karen Designs here. Welcome to um, week 22 of Fun Fall Friday. Um, and this week I'm using the Playful Pets. And this card is called um, a Dutch Dutch Barn Fold. I think it's got something to do with the, with the shape of the top. I think that's like a Dutch Barn roof. Um, so it's like a gatefold, but half a gatefold if you like. With a, with a long flap on the top which looks like a roof and I've got a little banner going across here and I've used the um, lovely labels pick a punch for that one so let me show you how I made it so first of all <coughs> you need a piece of cardstock which measures 5 by 11 and we're going to score it at 7 all the scoring <coughs> for now oh no sorry there's another piece we need two small pieces of um this is real red we need two small pieces as well for the um gates or the doors on the gate and these are three and a half by three and on the Three and a half side on the three side. With, sorry, with three along the top, going to score at half. There we go. That's half on the half inch mark. That's it, and that is all scoring now. Put that out of the way. So we'll just fold and burnish these. tell I was moving ink about on an ink pad with um, with the end of a bone folder and it stained it. Looks a right mess. Right, so we've got a piece like that and two pieces like this. Now all the one all the cards like this I've seen before have been cut out of a piece of um, 12 by 12 um, and cut all in one but I haven't got any 12 by 12 so I've changed the measurements slightly to make it out of um, A4. So as I said, that's five by eleven. Scored at seven. These are three and a half by three. Scored at half. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to glue these flaps onto the front. It's really warm here, and I think the glue's melting a bit. It's a bit much on there, but never mind. So this, you're going to line up with the bottom, line up along the side, like that. Exactly the same with the other side. Again, line it up with the edge and the bottom. Give it a press. Oh, the glue's splodged out a bit, but never mind. I'm going to put a layer over the top of that. So now we need, um, I'm using basic black. And this piece is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And this is going to layer on top of there like that. So this will cover up where we've glued the flaps in. And then we need a piece of whisper white, which is four and a half by six and a half. I'm 
There we go, like that. It's really quite a quick and easy card to put together this one. So I think we'll um, we'll round these corners. So I'm going to use the detailed trio punch and just round those two corners. like that so that when they fold down it's got a nice curved shape on that one so with the one I've already done I use the um, use the dogs which I think are really really cute for this one I'm going to use the cats which is also I'm not really a cat person but these are quite cute so first of all we need some basic black again which measures four and three quarters by three and three quarters and we're going to round the corner the bottom corners of those as well like that. and then we'll round off the bottom corners of the dsp as well so and that measures four and a half by three and a half. And then we'll glue that to the basic black. Leaving a nice border all the way around. And we'll add that to the front of here. And again, leaving a border all the way around. There we go. I love the expression on this cat's face, it's so snooty. And now we need some more basic black to go on here. These pieces are two and a quarter by three and a quarter. We need two of those. And we've got some DSP and I'm using the one with the fishes, fishes and the hearts. And that is two by three. So I'll add that onto there. Nice and central. onto there and make sure we stick them on the right way around so the hearts are the right way up and we'll glue to the back of this and you can line the black up with the black on the piece behind go it's a really quick and easy card to put together this so that's your basic card shape so now we need to do the banner so I'm gonna make this as a happy birthday card um, and I'm gonna use the happy birthday from posted for you which I think is a really cute set and this comes with um you buy it as a bundle you save 10 percent, but it also comes with a punch a rectangular like a rectangular postage stamp which is really cute but i'm just going to use the um the sentiment for now when i can find some memento black ink there we go so i've already mounted this on a block and this piece of white is three inches long by half an inch i'm going to use the um lovely labels pick a punch for these and pop that in the middle like 
Like that. I'll leave that to dry for a minute while I um, punch these other layers. So this is the lovely labels pick a punch, and as you can see, it's got three tracks in each side. So you can do half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and one inch on either side. So effectively, it's like six, six different punches. And I'm going to use this fancy one because that's my favourite. So I'm going to start with the one inch, which is the red. And just turn it over with this punch and check that it's lined up centrally. I think because it's got so many tracks in it, it can jump out of the track if you're not careful. And then the, um, then the ends of it look a bit wonky. There we go, that's the red one. Then the black one is three quarters of an inch. Wrap it round, give the other end. And that will go on top of there. And then this one should be dry by now. Put that one in the half inch slot on the bottom. See, and I didn't check that one, and that one looks a little bit wonky. So I'll put that in again. And as you, I don't know if you can see, it's just moved slightly. So nudge it back over. Hopefully. Oh, I've done it again. I think it's because I've got my finger on it as well. That's it. It's because I've got it up in the air as well. Just trying to show you what I'm doing. So we'll add the black layer to the red. All the measurements will be over on my blog at Crafty Karen. Oh, I didn't measure that very well, did I? Crafty Karen Designs .blogspot .com later on today. Slightly less of a border than I anticipated, but never mind. I'm not putting it in my punch now, I've got glue on it. Add that. To the middle of there, and it makes quite a nice effect. So we've got three layers. So I'm just going to put dimensionals on the back of that, and we've got a couple of mini dimensionals on. One on the end, and one in the middle. Take the backing off. And add that to the front of here, like so. So there you go. Quick and easy. Dutch barn door fold, or it's something like that. Dutch barn fold. So we've got a cat version and a dog version. Oops. And as I said, all the information, all the instructions and measurements are over on my blog, craftycarrandesigns.blogspot.com. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye.